Al-Qaeda is very eager to be back in the headlines and that's why they've been releasing a lot of videos and audio recordings lately. In the latest, the leader Ayman al-Sawahiri is calling for lone wolf attacks here in the western world in US soil. He's calling for all Muslims to follow the example of Sarnaya brothers and the Kuwachi brothers, both the perpetrators of the Boston bombing and also the Charlie Hebdo massacre, as good examples to follow in the fight against the Crusaders. Again, it's not clear when these, recorded, these recordings were made, at least two mm -hmm. months old, because in the reference they talk about the other organization, uh, the Taliban leader being alive, the information that he was dead came in July, so we're timing that like two months ago. Okay. But still, they're calling also kind of in a different tune that the first video that was released where they were calling out ISIS as an illegitimate caliphate. Now mm -hmm. they're saying, well, we don't like them because they took power by car bombs and, and violence and not by the will of the people. We don't like that, but if we had to fight the Crusaders, we're definitely down to ally with them and to fight together. Right, what it seems like to me is like you said, they're struggling. Uh, for attention and they, and they want to be out there. They see how well ISIS is doing when it comes to social media, to recruitment, even calling for the loan and tax. I mean, they, they, they know that they're very good at it. They put out those movies, those the propaganda, those well-produced Hollywood-style uh, blockbuster movies that they, that they, they do. Um, and, and, and they want to copy that because they're kind of saying, hey, we've been around way before ISIS. We should be the guys that everyone's talking about. But unfortunately, they're not. Yeah. Everyone's talking about ISIS. So that they see that as, you know, this whole, like, they're better than us. So we got to get up in there, too. It's definitely, a, you know, a game of one, uh, an upmanship where right. they are trying to see who is the big dog in the region. ISIS, of course, it, it's, it's growing at a rate that no other terrorist organization in the world is doing so. Uh, but also, we see this game in the media. Again, it's not like they're realize, you know, creating these terrorist attacks or any threat, but they're trying just to bring attention and for people to talk about them, because like you mentioned, ISIS has the control and is kind of the top influence in the region over them, even though they are older, both the Taliban and, and Al-Qaeda are older, more, you know, kind of moderate organizations where they actually try to keep some level of civility in their, in, in, in their ruling of the land versus ISIS that they even I think one of the main beefs that they have is that they've branded some Muslims as infidels, and Al-Qaeda is not cool with that, and ISIS is like, dude, if you don't listen to me, I'll brand you as an infidel, no matter how Muslim you are. Right, and, and I mean, what does this tell us? You know, maybe they're really feeling threatened by ISIS. As ISIS grows, they're, they're seeing that potentially as a threat down, down the line. Um, not only do they want the same popularity that ISIS has for a lot of young kids who are being radicalized, but but you know they they see that as a threat, and 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 the the very fact that they're trying to get attention, that they want to step up their recruiting, um, I, I'm assuming is you know because they're they're struggling for for whatever reason it is, whether they're seeing ISIS as a threat or their numbers are dwindling. I don't know what it is, but but there, there's there must be a reason why they're coming out now. Yeah, it's, that's one exactly one of the for attention. one of the standing opinions is that they are kind of trying to be, you know, it's a survival thing. Yeah. Because at the moment, the Al-Qaeda organization is not as robust as ISIS. So if it was targeted by the Western world on an organized attack, it would be very easy to, you know, diminish their power and advance. But if they are in good terms with ISIS, then ISIS will at some point kind of come in at their aid. And that's ultimately Al-Qaeda and the Taliban, they're hoping for this unique un unification of, of the Mujahideens under one ruling. It's a very complicated thing to accomplish that. Hopefully they don't, and hopefully we have the Western world and the Middle East peaceful countries getting involved to avoid this situation and this is an error. But we want to know how, do you, how you feel about this situation where the Taliban and Al-Qaeda are both trying to bring notoriety to themselves and kind of get back in the game. Let us know your thoughts below. And if you haven't, please subscribe to the Lib TV.